This is an example of zigzag stitch embroidery, which you can also do with these hoops. You can't help but notice how much better the free motion embroidery looks. It's richer and fuller than the automatic machine embroidery stitch that you see here. On this quilt, my mother used the pages of a child's coloring book for the designs to create this magnificent Valentine quilt. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Now you can use your scraps of SIA that we cut off when we first set up the SIA for the hoop as a patch for the holes that we created when removing the t-shirt. Be sure to place your hoop on a flat surface so that when we rub the SIA to secure it to the original piece, we don't inadvertently stretch the SIA out of shape. When we embroider the flowers, we moved the hoop so that the stitches were coming out from the center of the petals. With the Octi design, we are going to be sure to change the direction that we move the hoop. Changing the stitch direction will show the shape of the item we're designing, giving it dimension, and you will notice that the thread's color seems to change. This is the light reflecting off the thread differently, making it appear to change color. We always start by outlining our subject before filling the design's middle helping us to not exceed the design area. Pay attention to the colors on your template so that you know when you need to change to the next color thread. You can work through the entire design embroidering one color and once you've embroidered all areas that that color is needed you change to the next color. Don't get so caught up in the movement of the hoop that you forget to stop and change your colors. As you can see here within this split screen, my hands are constantly changing position. Remember that you have eight holes on each frame giving you the freedom to change hand position as often as you need in order to feel comfortable. If you do not see your finger over the template where you want your thread to go, then you can't possibly sew through your fingers, can you? Remember, if your finger isn't where the needle is, you will not sew through your fingers. So go ahead and get your fingers down on top of the fabric. If that feels more natural to you, there's nothing wrong with it. The SDSV feels like plastic, so as you embroider, your fingers will cling to it, making it even easier to move the hoop. I cannot express enough the importance and benefit of using the SDSV stabilizer. It just makes the entire process so much simpler. Now you will notice that this foot has an open front section. To increase visibility while embroidering with a free motion foot, I simply purchased an extra darning or embroidery foot for my particular machine and then using a small saw, cut away the front section of the foot. I then used a fingernail file to smooth the edges. And voila, I have an open toe embroidery foot. This design is on our OctiHoops page at creativefeet.com for you to print out onto your computer. You will see that the design on the site is not in black ink. I gave you the design in an alternative color so that you can see that you are in fact covering up or filling in the entire design. You will want to use a measuring tape to make sure the second side is placed equal distance from the top and from the other section. There is a comfort in knowing that you're going to be embroidering in the correct location no matter what. I am now patching the hole made from another embroidery project with the frame flat on a level surface and then using the release liner that I removed from the piece I rubbed to ensure a tight bond without stretching out the piece that was on the frame. This helps us to be a green embroiderer and not waste stabilizer while also saving us money. Once again, I've printed directly onto my SDSV stabilizer. Using this allows me to see that I will be sewing exactly where I want the stitching to be. There is no guesswork because wherever the design template is, is where your embroidery will be when you're done. Notice my hand position. My finger is now on top of the handle. I did that without even thinking about it, and it's okay. 
Remember, it's all about being comfortable, so you can get more accomplished without your hands getting sore. You'll notice that I'm running the machine at a slow pace. You can embroider as slow or as fast as you feel comfortable. However, if you decide to run the machine slow, you must also move the frame slow. Fast machine, fast hand movement. Slow machine, slow hand movement. If you find that you keep breaking thread, it's probably associated with learning the balance between machine speed versus hand speed. Just as you didn't start riding that bike the first time out, you will learn, and then once you do, you will never forget. Remember to tie off your stitches at the beginning and the end of each section or each thread change. To tie off, simply sew six or seven stitches near each other, and that will keep the threads from unraveling. Now it's time to satisfy that yearning within the sports fan in your life and provide them with one-of-a-kind baseball caps. We use the large and medium frames together to hold the bill flat as we work on filling in the design. This is a design that I drew and printed out on SDSV and then placed on a cap exactly where I want the design to be sewn. It is so simple to center the design when using the SDSV. Placing the handles on the medium frame instead of the large frame holds the build down while allowing us to spin around as needed. Once the design is locked down and you can see that the bill is securely stuck to the SIA, you can remove the medium hoop and just use the large frame. There may be caps that will never rest and you will continue to use the two frames throughout the entire embroidery process. You may or may not wish to use a foot. I tend to avoid the foot as much as possible because I can see better without it. It is very important that you understand the copyright laws so you do not get yourself into trouble. Copyright laws allow you to embroider any image you find anywhere as long as it is for your own personal use or if you're making a gift for a loved one. If you want to embroider on items to sell, you must have written approval from the league or company before attempting to sell or profit from any work done by you using their designs. I am providing free licensed designs for you to use on items that you can then resell. Be sure to check often for new designs on the OctaHoops page at creativefeet.com. These designs will show free license, which means that you can embroider and sell your items. However, you cannot sell the printed design. You are allowed, however, to embroider on things using the designs that I have come up with and then make money from that. Just imagine the smile on the face of the fan wearing the hat that everyone wants but can't have because you made it. And it is a one-of-a-kind creation.